Hey, it's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk about the generic thermostat. So if you look at my main screen here, I've got the thermostat from my Ecobee system and this is really using the API from Ecobee so you can say I can turn heat, cool, power, you know, kind of fan only, cycle a lot of things and it gives me information about whether it's running or not, what it's set at, what the current temperature is, things like this. So it looks pretty warm. This is what my family likes there in the house. I'm out in my office. In my office, I have a little bit different setup. So I really have a window unit that uh, just runs from a regular plug and it's got very manual switches, which means turn it on, set it to air and leave it alone. And it just runs all the time. Um, the thing about that is it's not very energy efficient. I don't need it to be on all the time. I want to feel comfortable in my office, but it doesn't have to be cold. It doesn't have to be hot. Um, so I've kind of gone through a few iterations of how to make that thing work in Home Assistant. And one of the ways that I do that or that I've done that is I've gone to uh, automations and I've gone through iterations of this. So first I had automations that would turn it on and let it run for five zero minutes, 50 minutes, and then turn it off for 10 minutes of the hour and then turn it back on. And that worked okay initially and it wasn't too hard to set up, but then I had to set it to turn on for 50 minutes and then off for 10 minutes and then you know, only between certain times of the day and at night just not run and let the office heat up a little bit. And then the morning started again to cool off for my work hours, but then not on Saturday and Sunday because I wasn't going to be in here potentially. Um, so I had, you know, five or six different little automations that kind of controlled all of those things, uh, which worked okay, but it gets very hot here in the afternoon. So I didn't want it to turn off for 10 minutes in the, in the late afternoon while I was still working. I wanted it to continue to run because the office was heating up, even though it was running sometimes. So, uh, I got a Shelly, uh, very nice little Shelly temperature and humidity sensor. And you can see, I've got these two things turned off right now because I'm testing this other setup. But, uh, I basically set this to turn on by temperature and off by temperature. And the way that I have those set up, I'll do the on one first. Um, so I gave it a name and then right here I set a time pattern. So every five minutes it checks and it checks the condition and you can hear the air conditioner probably turning on right now, but I'll try to block out some of that noise in the post uh, production here. Um, and as long as the temperature is not above 77, then when it checks every five minutes, it just says, okay, no worries. But if it goes above 77 on that five minute check, so five minutes comes, it says, Hey, is it above 77? And it says, yep, it's above 77. Then it continues down and it checks to see the second condition, like is it between these times? So basically from 7 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. on any day of the week. So I, I even run it on Saturday and Sunday because I have machines out here running and servers and I can't let it get too hot anymore. Uh, and now that it's running like that, it's a little better. So I've got this thing and basically I tell it, hey, take that switch, that, that smart plug that runs my air conditioning unit and turn it to the on position. So if it's off, which check it and see if it's off already. And if it is, turn it on. So three conditions that I check just to make sure everything's in the state that I expect. And I check it every five minutes. And once everything is true, it says, okay, then I'm going to go turn this dude on, which is what I want. Um, so I'm just going to tell it not to, not to worry about any changes that things I might've made there. Um, so that's the turn uh, on, and then we have the turn off. So then again, uh, I check every five minutes. Again, I check these conditions, and I say if it's below 75, then also if it's on these days between these times, and if the a AC is already on, then turn it off. So basically, I'm telling it between certain times of the day, from 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., Monday, you know, Sunday through the next Sunday. If it's below 75, turn it off. If it's above 77, turn it on. So basically keep the air between 75 and 77 degrees, somewhere in there, um, which is plenty good. So you can see where I've got all these things turned on, and you can easily just turn off any days you don't want to include, of course. But that's, that's worked really well, and it, it, it still works well. I just have them turned off because I'm testing this uh, thermostat. Because I was thinking, well, why can't I have a thermostat for this setup that lets me set it a little bit more easily and has a little bit nicer UI and something where I can change it when I want to without having to come in and fiddle with these automations every time? So, again, I'll tell it I, I just want to leave. Um, so I have those turned off right now, and I kind of went out looking, and I did find somebody who had a generic uh, thermostat setup. 
So I was trying to go in and create this, but I didn't really understand how. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what I figured out and how to do it. And I'm still tweaking this a little bit, but you can see I have it set for 75. It's going to go up to one degree above 75, um, which is 76, and it turns on. And then as it cools down, once it gets below 75, it will turn back off, which is what we want. We want that kind of, uh, you know, operation where it's turning on and off. Now I could set this to be a little higher. You can see it just changed again. So it should turn off here in about 30 seconds because it should be cool enough that it's going to be below 75. Um, but as I set that and as I change that, that thermostat setting, I can change what the temperature now is in my office. And I just have to have a tolerance that I want. And, and I'm still trying to get that tolerance set. So we, you'll see that when we go into the setup of, of how this gets set. So, oh, it didn't quite make it 75.1. So maybe another 30 seconds, it'll be cool enough. Uh, but we're going to go into the file editor, and I'll kind of show you what I did to set this up. So when you go into your file editor, um, you're always in the config folder, or generally you should be in the config folder by default. So if you open this up, it's going to be in your config folder. So the first thing I did was click create new folder, and I created one called climate. So just C-L-I-M-A-T-E. That's it and then you would click OK. Now I've already got this. You can see it right here. Once I created that, it was empty. So I, I clicked into it and I created new file and I called this generic and you can see it there in the background thermostat.yaml just like this. So it doesn't matter what you call this file. You're, you're just giving it a name that you can find and utilize. So I'm just going to cancel that, but I've got that file. Once I created that file, I, I clicked it and I went into it and here we are. So I'm going to enlarge this just a little bit so you can see what I've done. So first thing we do is define a platform. So that's hyphen space platform generic thermostat. So pretty, pretty basic. This needs to be probably spelled correctly. And then I give it a name, which is Office AC. So that's where it's at. And then I told it, here's one of the things that you're going to control. And it's called heater. Now, even though it's called heater, there's this thing down here called AC mode true, which tells you that it's actually an air conditioning control. It's not a heater control. If you want a heater control and you want to use this, then you would set this to false. And that way it knows kind of what you're trying to do with, with the control. So what I told it was the heater is basically this switch. It's just a binary switch. It's on or off, which is switch dot office AC unit outlet. Okay. And I've got a misspelling there. Don't worry about it. I know that the system knows what it is. That's all that matters. Um, then on the target sensor, so this is the sensor that's going to detect the temperature. I've got this little temperature that I made. Now this is not the Shelly temperature sensor. I can use that as well here, but I've got this sensor that I made. So to find these things, you can go into home assistant and it's all, it's all big right now, but, uh, you go to configuration and if you go to your entity screen, you'll see, you've got this filter up here. And you can look for these things. So right here is the switch that I needed. So I just I just highlight and copy this right here for this entity. And then when I'm looking for my uh, temperature sensor, I can type in temp like this. And I can look at my different temperature sensors and I can find the one that I want. And then I can highlight that thing. And I don't have to worry about if I'm getting the right one. So you can see here I've got all these different temperature sensors that I can take advantage of, which is really useful. Um, now, if I'm looking for uh, B, because I know that's the one I wanted, see here's B office temp. So this is the one I wanted. So I just clicked it and then I highlight this right here, copy it. I can close that and then I can go back here and I can just paste it. And I'm not having to worry about did I spell this correctly? Did I use underlines or hyphens, things like that? I can just paste it in. I've got the right thing. Here on the min temp and the max temp, that's what really sets this, uh, let me show you here. That's what sets the range of this curve. So you can set that range to anything you want. Now I'm using Fahrenheit. I live in the United States. We use Fahrenheit for our temperature scale. But if you live where it's Celsius, you can set this to the Celsius range that you want. Again, AC mode is set to true because I want this to work as an air conditioner. And then here we've got a target temperature of 75. So this is just kind of where it starts off and then you can change it with the slider. Um, so the cold tolerance, if you are running this as a heater, you would set this. For the heat tolerance, I'm running this as an air conditioner, so I've got it set to 1. And I'm about to change it. I'm going to change it to 1.5. Um, and I'm going to save that. 
So I want it to actually be able to get up 1.5 degrees above the temperature in the office and turn on and then drop back down to the temperature and turn off. And I'm trying to set this so it doesn't come on and off quite so much because it's it's a small office and it's just it's it's just too much for it to be turning off and on all the time like that. It doesn't need to. And as you saw before, I had a two degree difference uh, set before, which seemed very good. So I'm, I'm really telling it a little bit less than I had before. So this just tells it that if it's, if it's an HVAC system, make sure that it's in the off state whenever you restart uh, Home Assistant, you know, turn it off and then do whatever it has to do. So the away temp, so if I'm away, it'll set it to 82. I don't really use this. I'm not really sure that I need this uh, specifically, but it's there and it was already in the YAML. So I just left it and I set it to what I want. And then the precision is 0 0.1 and I've just left it at 0 0.1 in this case. Um, so I've saved it. You can see that there's no save button up here, which is good. But to get those changes to take effect, I now have to go into configuration, or actually I need to go into supervisor. I need to go to system. And I'm going to go right here to core, and I'm going to hit restart core, and it's going to come up and verify. Now, if I have any problems in the YAML that it can identify, it's going to tell me, like, hey, you can't do that. Um, but as long as I don't have any issues with the YAML, it should restart, and it is. And you can see here it's restarting. It'll take just a second to get restarted here. Uh, mine restarts pretty quickly. I think most of them do because you're not restarting the entire system. You're just restarting the core of Home Assistant. So it's usually, you know, 15, 20 seconds to get restarted. There we go. You can see that it's got the messages about everything coming back up here real quick. And it's done. So now we can go back here. And I, I should have a one and a half degree tolerance. So once it gets below 75 um, here, it should turn off. Now, a couple of times I've had to kind of turn it off manually and turn it back on manually just to get it to kick in after that reboot. We'll just have to see what happens here. Uh, but I'll show you how to add this control uh, and, and we'll, we'll get it set up. So see it drop down another tenth of a degree there. Now, about every 30 seconds it seems to be dropping about a tenth of a degree, but it warms up much faster because the heat here is, is just too much. But now it's, it's only 80 degrees outside, but it's 80 degrees with a good bit of humidity which just makes the heat index higher by quite a bit. So we're not seeing the heat index. We're seeing the actual temperature here. Heat index makes it about anywhere from 10 to 12 degrees hotter. So it's really more like 90. Um, so it warms up pretty quick in here. So in order to add a control like this, we'll just we'll click here and we'll do edit. Um, and I'm just going to create a new space. And I'm just going to call this my test test space here. Don't need to set up any of these others for now. We're just going to click on save so we get a test space. And we'll click on add a card. And we want the thermostat card. If I spell thermostat right, there we go, thermostat card. And you can see by default it picks my office, uh, my Ecobee, sorry. I want it to pick the office AC, so I'm going to go and select that one. But you see now I have that option before. I only had the Ecobee before I put in this configuration file. Now I can name this anything I want. Office AC is fine, but I can just call it Office if I want to, and you can see it changes here. Um, and then right here you can change the theme if you want to, but that's really all you need to change. There's nothing else to change about it specifically. Now I don't know why it says 77, but we'll we'll hit Save. There we go. It says 75. It's, it's correct now. And you can see that it's reading out uh, what the temperature is as it changes and as it cools down in here. Um, it really helps that. That, uh, that I can see that there and we'll let it kind of cool down and see if it turns off here in a second it says that it's off which is not good it says cooling now good so hopefully it'll switch to the correct thing here in just a second and it turned off so as soon as it hit 75 it turned off now it's going to get back up to 76.5 before it turns back on but now I've got this really nice system that, that will let me set the temperature so if I set this down to 73 it should kick back on so I'm going to go down to 73 and it kicks on as soon as I let go and now it would try to cool down to 72.9 before it would turn off. So I'm going to set this back to 75 uh, because now 75.8 doesn't seem realistic to me. Um, I've got the sensor sitting over here next to a computer, the soap would change a little bit faster. But there you go, it, it warms back up really quickly because the computer uh, is throwing out heat at it, of course. So there you go, that's how you set up a very simple, very straightforward uh, 
generic thermostat interface that you can run your heat or your AC on. Uh, very cool. Very nice. Uh, very cool. <laughs> uh, it's just very neat that, that you can do this. And I, I did not make this. I did not come up with this. I found this online and I put it to use. So whoever did come up with this, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But I want you guys to understand that you can find all kinds of solutions out there with Home Assistant. It's a matter of sitting down and working through that solution and figuring out what it is and, and how it works and then putting it to use for you so that you can make your home assistant something even better and even greater. I am just I'm so I'm so impressed with home assistant. Honestly, it's just a terrific, terrific uh, piece of software. I use it constantly. Um, I use it all the time and it's really starting to run more and more of my home. So I, I, I love it, but it, that kind of freaks me out a little bit at the same time because if anything ever happens, I know I have to reset it up right away to get everything to work correctly. Um, but I definitely do like backups on a very regular basis too. So make sure you're doing that stuff. I just want to say thank you so much to all my patrons and all my subscribers. I truly appreciate all of your support. It really means the world to me and I just cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate that. If you'd like to become a patron, jump over to Patreon and become a subscriber. I post all of my videos every week, uh, both videos every week, over at Patreon so that you're sure not to miss any. And then also, if you'd like to get those notifications through YouTube, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you get notified when I put out new videos, and please click the thumbs up and give me a like. Tell your friends about it so they can come along on the journey with us, and I'll talk to you next time.